Boom. All right, what's going on to you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sunday Stock Watch, a series I post on Sundays where I'll let you guys know what stocks I'm personally keeping an eye on going into the trading week. As I've been saying, you guys, we are potentially living through the most insane market environment to ever exist. So I want to say right off the bat, you guys, please proceed with caution. This week is going to be crazy. Please think rationally. Keep a cool head on your shoulders. Be responsible. There's a lot of hot heads in this market right now and a lot of capital just flying all over the place. So please be safe, you guys. I trust you too. I trust. I believe in you guys. But please just proceed with caution once again. That said, there's no one I would rather experience this historic market environment with than all of you guys, than with the Waves family. This is one for the history books, you guys. This is going to be looked back on as a true paradigm shift in the markets. And uh, again, I would, there's no one I'd rather spend it with than, than you guys and just be on this roller coaster ride that is the stock market right now, that is the crypto markets right now, than with you guys once again. So just thank you guys, truly, from the bottom of my heart. I seriously appreciate you guys. And I'm so pumped to get into this. So, as always, we'll quickly go over each topic we're going to be discussing, and then we'll dive into each one individually. We're getting straight to the point here, you guys. Trading view in front of us. We are going to cover the following names today in this order. These I'm so stoked for these names we're going to cover. Okay, so silver. Silver is popping off right now. Silver, similar to crypto, silver and gold CFTs. Um, our, our 24 hour market. So silver has absolutely crushed over the weekend. Silver's looking amazing right now. You guys as <laughs> big shout out to the waste family. You guys know I've, I've personally been positioned in silver for a long time. I've been waiting for this and it's finally happening. I'm so stoked to watch it pan out. So bullish on silver right now, which may seem weird. If I uh, like the revolutionary guy, the revolutionary asset guy, the crypto guy, I love silver. And uh, I, th I really believe in silver and I'm very excited to see what happens this week because it's looking very good. And I know uh, some of the plays that I've, I've in place right now, like I share silver trust and first majestic silver. So I share silver silver trust is a is a trust, obviously, of silver. So it's like physical silver investing in a stock um, similar to how you would invest in physical silver. But it's a stock and then AG first majestic first majestic silver you guys are i'm so pumped um first majestic silver is my personal favorite mining company just for you guys many of you who have been around would know that but ag popping off as well so bullish so bullish on silver going into this week and i'm so so happy to be so well positioned in all honesty so you guys please let me know down below if you guys are stoked on silver too silver and then our other play that we've been talking about so much very well positioned in this as well sundial sundial you guys send there's so much craziness this is silver and sundial are, are as many of you know, as I discussed on Friday, involved in some of these, um, what's going on with the, with with Wall Street bets, the redditors, they're trying to pump things, and uh, I mean, I'm not a part of that. Once again, that's if you are, that's awesome, that's fine, but I'm not. I, I take no part in that. But I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of Sundial calls on deck, so I'm very excited to see what happens with Sundial. And then on to the crypto play. So crypto right now, as we scroll up here, is looking pretty good. Bitcoin, you guys know if you if you watch Friday's episode, I'm so bullish on Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is on its way to. Eighty thousand dollars, in all honesty, and like the over over the coming month or so. So very bullish on Bitcoin. Therefore, I'm bullish on Bitcoin related stocks. Bitcoin miners, riots, riot blockchain, marathon patent group. Not only going to cover riot today. You guys know I, I I talk about these as two peas in a pod. So only going to take a look at riot on the chart today. Again, they're very similar to marathon patent group, high blockchain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so we will take a look at riot. We're going to take a look at Xnet. Xnet is my favorite blockchain related play, and uh, I Xnet. Again, on Friday, I talked about this, but I'm going to talk about it again. Xnet is just asking to break out. So very excited to see what happens with these crypto plays. Xnet and Riot, of course, Marathon Patent Group, Currency Works. These are all very exciting plays, but we're just going to cover these for now. We will cover some other names over the course of the week, you guys. But these two for now. And then, of course, closing it out with my favorite. This is like my moonshot play personally. This is like my like 1000x potential play. Um, and again, you guys, I'm not guaranteeing anything. This is just what I'm thinking. A-L-Y-I, the over-the-counter stock, the, the Harley Davidson of the electric vehicle space. And I'm just so excited to see what happens with this micro, micro cap stock. $5 million market cap. And uh, I'm just so excited to see how this pans out because this is such, this this company, Alternate Systems, A-L-Y-I, seriously has like the coolest mission and uh, vision I've ever come across. And I truly think this is like a generational wealth opportunity. Okay, so those are the names we're going to be covering, you guys. But before we get into it, as always, I will ask you to please Give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today or if you're invested or thinking about investing in any of the plays we're going to be talking about subscribe to the channel if you're new around here want to catch more content like this and of course check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first link down in the description if you want 
a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio. I do update. I, I, I do. Uh, I do update that every single trading day during market hours. And with every update, I also send out an email newsletter explaining my thoughts. So with every trade I make, if you want to know exactly how I'm trading, what I do with my positions tomorrow over the course of this week with all these names. Plus, I, you guys, I have like 60 positions, active positions in this portfolio. If you want to know what they are, exactly what they are, when I trade them, why I trade them through the newsletter. First link down in the description, 15 bucks a month. If you guys want to check it out, it's a great way to support me. I take a lot of pride in this. Um, I, I put a lot of time into it. This is my this is my passion, my profession. I'm so stoked. Uh, once again, just thank you guys for just riding with me. The Waves fam is for real. So uh, again, first link in the description if you want to check it out. If not, no worries at all. Let's get into this. So silver, again, silver because it's a 24-hour market. That's why I love it. Silver and gold up 6% in the past 24 hours, you guys. It's insane. Silver is going parabolic right now. So um, you guys, again, if, you, if you've been around, please let me know down below. If we, We've been covering silver for months. I've been waiting for this money printing. The, this, for the same reason I like Bitcoin as a, as, a, as a store of wealth, as an inflation hedge asset, I like silver. And silver, silver's all-time high is at $50. Gold is near its all-time high. Gold set an all-time high earlier this year. Silver has not. Silver set an all-time high back in 2011 at $50. So silver, to match its all-time high, would still have to 2x. So ultimately, you guys, just right off the bat, uh, I will zoom out and show you guys my, uh, my, my overall price target. But price, I think silver could easily, easily get to $50 over the course of the of the next month all right so i'll just say that right now but short term silver broke through broke out of this long term long term downtrend so since it's high back in august way back in august silver has printed a, a long term downtrend so you see this pretty sideways but it did it, it is printing a downtrend this red line right here of course and it as a like right after it broke above that uh the jet literally just today at about 20, $27.60. That's when you see it go parabolic. That's when you see it break out. So short term, I think tomorrow, because there's so much, again, there's just so much momentum. There's just so much capital that wants to flow into silver right now. I think it's very possible that we do test what was an ascending channel after we broke out of this long-term bull flag. Silver printed like the, the most like, elongated bull flag i've ever seen so parabolic rally followed by a descending triangle broke out of here it was in a nice ascending channel prior to breaking out of it uh as you guys know i was very bullish on silver around here broke out broke my heart as well went sideways but now we have broken out of this long-term downtrend we're seeing a move up and uh, i think it's very very likely that we come up to test uh the previous line of support on this ascending channel use it as new resistance that would take us tomorrow at a two of thirty dollars if we break thirty dollars that would set a yearly high for silver and once we break that yearly high i think we're going like going to the moon straight up so silver this is of course the the um the the silver spot price slv i share silver trust is what i trade personally but it's going to be very similar they act uh this this is directly two peas in a pod it's like gbtc to bitcoin if you guys are familiar with that so i think it's very likely similar to the same thing test the sending channel that would bring us to if we test it tomorrow at least 27 dollars but i think i think slv is is on is on the trajectory to just absolutely moon so sorry i fully I fully did not go to, I did not zoom out. My bad, you guys. So let's actually go to the daily. And then you guys, sorry, I'm spending a life. Sorry if you guys aren't interested in silver, but I'm so, so bullish going on silver going into this week. So zooming out, you guys, I think it's very, very likely that uh, that we do break out, at least on this rally, to test the uptrend right here. Once again, that'll take us to $37. This has acted as a very significant line of resistance for silver since the since the liquidity crisis, since the lows back in March, since we started that rally initially. So I think $30, again, we hit $31. That would break silver's yearly high, and that would initiate a full-on bull rally. So very optimistically, I think it's very possible. In all honesty, again, I'm so bullish on silver. The, the silver-gold ratio is, is, is low right now. Silver is... is is uh, historically undervalued. And again, money's being printed out the wazoo for the same reason. Once again, I like Bitcoin, I like inflation hedges. People want to keep their money, their capital, their, their wealth safe in an asset, in a rare, scarce asset like Bitcoin, like silver, like gold, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I think silver is, in my personal opinion, in all honesty, silver is like my 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 horse in this race even above bitcoin at this moment it's crazy as that sounds but i think silver could easily reach 60 dollars, set a new all-time high just because the stars are all aligning so long term of course the long-term line of resistance using this first high from the initial rally way back in march uh using this uh again it's yearly high that was uh, at around 30 dollars in august that's creating a very significant uptrend and i think over the course of the next uh, of the next couple of months silver could easily break its all-time high at around 50 dollars with this which is this cyan line right here so very bullish on silver ag is going to be looking very very similar i don't even have much drawn on ag but ag is all-time high let's just let's just check out the all-time high real quick so 
week. Uh, let's zoom out once again. It was in 2011. AG's all time high was at $27. I think it's very likely AG is a very financially, I've, uh, I, I think I have an analysis, individual analysis on AG for his Majestic. My favorite gold mining, or my, they mine gold as well, but my favorite silver mining company, First Majestic Silver. Their all time high is twenty seven dollars. I see no reason that AG can't get to get to fit like get to fifty dollars as well. AG's market cap is currently sitting at about four billion dollars. Tiny company. It does not take much capital inflow. That's why you guys know I love I love tiny market caps. It does not take that much capital inflow and interest in this name to significantly uh, significantly increase the individual share price. So I'm very bullish on AG. This is my horse in the silver mining race. There's a lot of other great plays out there. Pan American Silver. Uh, mag silver etc cetera, etc cetera. like uh again I'm, yeah but ag first majestic silver is my horse in the race i'm very excited to see what happens here i think it could easily clear its all-time high at 20 at least hit 25 dollars in the near future so very exciting there again you guys that's silver that's probably the most bullish i am on any single position going into the week considering we have direct tangible evidence that silver is about about to there's no way there's literally no way unless silver falls off a cliff which is highly unlikely that slv and ag going into this trading week are not gonna are not gonna explode and again i'm so so blessed i'm so excited because i'm so well positioned in this again shout out to the waste fam you guys is we are eating we've been eating good and we are eating even better this week you guys are gonna be so sick and um uh, uh, you guys i'm sorry if i sound goofy right now I, i'm i'm goofy in all honesty but i'm just so like I'm seriously so excited. I'm so excited for this week. So please bear with me. Bear with my 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 like cracky voice and, and just raw excitement because uh, it will sound goofy. So I'm I'm just I'm just warning you right now. <laughs> Ten minutes into the video. Okay. So SNDL easy one right here. Let's go back to the four hour. You guys know four hours are my favorite time frame to look at for swing trading, which is what I do. So. Uh, let's delete these guys, get rid of these, and just look at this on a long term. So SNDL obviously popped off, Robin and halted trading. You guys may have seen my, my account grow to almost a million dollars and then fall off an absolute cliff because Robin had halted trading. Sundial is no longer halted. So Sundial, I think, is about to just pump. I think Sundial is absolutely gonna pump. What is Sundial? Sundial is, is even a smaller market, uh, has a, even a smaller market cap. It actually has like a I think like a seven hundred million dollar market cap at the time. If trading view is wrong, I don't know why trading view does this sometimes, but Sundial actually has a seven or eight hundred million dollar market cap. You guys please correct me on that if I'm wrong. Let me know down below and let everyone know, please. Um, we're not gonna look at it, but regardless, Sundial is a sub one billion dollar market cap. It does it takes very, very little capital inflow to increase the share price of the stock. Therefore, I think Sundial will easily, easily test the 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 top line of resistance on its longer medium to long term uptrends using these two highs november 6th boom right here december 1st uh, a few months later if we see sundial test the top line of resistance that would take us to a dollar and 75 cents sundial and uh i think that's very likely from here that is over 2x so i think we'd easily see a 2x in sundial over the coming week uh week or so again i, I never like putting direct time frames on anything but you guys know what i'm talking about so over the coming week or so i think it's very likely that at some point maybe it takes a month maybe it takes two i don't know at some point i think sundial will ultimately test the line of resistance on this long-term uptrend the cyan line right here um say it's say it's at the end say it's march 1st that would take us to a two dollar sundial so sundial extremely bullish on this stock right now and uh i'm just super excited for this because i'm like i'm just well positioned in all the names we're talking about like always know you guys my money's where my mouth is so moving on to the crypto stocks xnet junle and then we'll cover riot and then again finish it off with the harley davidson of evs alyi so junle again you guys just looking at this uh like classic classic two wave first wave you see the parabolic rally you see the bubble pop boom capitulation sideways movement you see some momentum building and this thing is just looking like it's gonna break out you guys it's like just look just look how like look how healthy this chart looks it's just slowly growing up slowly appreciating value the downside is is very it's, it's very unlikely that we see some downside in this in all honesty of course it could fall down of course all of these could tank you guys but it's very very unlikely in my opinion so i do think that ultimately we will similar to um sndl we're going to test the line of resistance on this long-term uptrend very similar looking chart honestly uh not super similar but pretty pretty close uh so december 1st first high uh this next high uh at about six dollars which is on january 8th again a month or so later let's test the top line of resistance if sndl tests the top line of resistance on this long-term uptrend that would take us to about seven dollars and 75 cents if we hit it february 9th by the end of this week which i think once again is very very likely so uh xnet super bullish i think we could easily clear seven dollars by the end of this week if i'm being completely honest riot also bullish on riot you guys my number one stock pick of 2020 and 2021 this is the stock that uh, i attribute so much of my success on youtube to in all honesty i love this thing uh i although i love it i've been ir, ir, this is how i coined the term irresponsibly bullish on riot uh in in early 2020 
uh, I'm still irresponsibly bullish on Riot. I'm, uh, AOYI is actually my textbook, or like what I say, like new shout, shout out Waste Fan once again, uh, is what I always call my new irresponsibly bullish play. I'm very irresponsibly bullish on AOYI right now, but Riot is looking so good right now. And uh, again, obviously I think Bitcoin, I'm not gonna cover right now. We will have a crypto combo later this week once again. But Bitcoin, I do think Bitcoin could hit 80K at some point over the coming month or two, over the over the course of the spring. I'll just say that much, just keep it general. And uh, obviously, if Bitcoin does well, a Bitcoin mining company who is paid directly in Bitcoin, expanding their operations like Riot, like Marathon Patent Group. Marathon Patent Group just picked up a bunch of Bitcoin as well. So very, very bullish. And uh, I think Riot can easily keep in mind, you guys, Riot's all-time high is about $45 back in 2017 when we saw the initial rally. The company is so much more fundamentally stable right now. They have Bitcoin, they have Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They have way more miners. They have miners on call. They have miners constantly flowing in. They're constantly expanding their operations. Again, same as Marathon Patent Group. These are two peas in a pod. I think Riot and Mara are both going to kill it, crush it, over the course of the coming months i'm just again keep it general you guys it could be a lot sooner in all honesty it could be a little longer but over the course of the next month or two i think riot and mara could easily clear 40 dollars probably hit their all-time highs my ultimate price target for riot and mara i think by the end of the year they can both clear at least 100 bucks at least hit triple digits okay so riot mara again short term is about 40 dollars long term easy triple digits in my mind alyi uh, i'll just say this right now you guys my long-term price target for alyi is ten dollars Keep in mind, you guys, ALYI is at four cents at the time of recording this. And uh, ALYI does have a market cap of $5 million. If this thing catches the right traction, this is the EV version of Harley Davidson. They are making, they're attempting to make what's called the Revolt Bike to serve the African market, the emerging market of Africa. This is like, again, ALYI, it's called alternate systems. I do have an analysis on it. It's called my favorite trade of 2020, 100X potential, at least 100X potential, obviously. Um, and it's just crazy to think about, man. And I'm so pumped on this. So ALYI short term, I think it's very, very likely we test the, the short term line of resistance on the, on the uptrend, on the short term uptrend. And that would take us to about 11 cents. If we hit, I think it's very, very, very likely that we hit 11 cents in the near future i love the look at this chart it looks healthy higher highs higher lows and i think it's very likely we once again test the line of resistance on this uptrend okay so if we hit february 5th just again random price target or random, random time frame i should say 11 cents but if we break beyond this i think we're going to the moon again you guys <laughs> going to the moon baby so uh and again you guys i'm like it's such a crazy environment once again like i said in the beginning please be safe out there but you got to adapt you have to adapt to the times and if you don't adapt you fall behind so adapt or get slapped all right so i love you guys i appreciate you guys once again and uh i'm just so i'm so you guys can tell i sound like an absolute goof but i'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys and just share this experience and it's just such it's again this war we're, we're gonna remember this time in the markets for our entire lives and that is so it's just so cool and just please be mindful of that like be be, be, be aware, be mindful of what's happening right now. Although it's like a roller coaster of emotions and this week has been so crazy for me and I've gotten emotional if you guys have been sticking around to the end of the videos and it's just so insane, you guys. But uh, again, like be, just be, be present, be present, you guys. And it's so, again, not getting, you're not gonna get into the meditation, mindfulness and everything. I, although I do think it's very important. It's very important to be mindful and just, be, again, presence. Be present, you guys, stay rational, stay safe. Please drop a comment down below what what will play you're the most bullish on right now of all the ones we talked about because uh i mean it's it's honestly tough for me i'm i'm so bullish on all of the plays we talked about today and uh silver i mean if if I, silver is i'm the most stoked on silver obviously because uh, ob again it's a 24-hour market silver is crushing it right now and silver my slv calls and ag calls are going to be so it's going to be so sick, you guys. Please let me know if you have call options ready to go this week. If you're popping off right now, if you're watching it on Monday, because I'm going to post it a little late. I'm in Hawaii. I'm recording this in the evening. It's beautiful outside, you guys. And uh, I'm going to go jump in the water right now. So I love you guys once again. Please drop a comment down below. Love talking to you guys. Love learning from you guys. So as always, until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.